someone's best is a goal we all share. Our paths may be different, and our methodologies vary. One common thread, however, is our need for some guidance along the way. This is Health and Wellness in the Coastal South. This week with an introduction to Coastal Empire Plastic Surgery and Dr. Megan McGovern, chiropractic medicine from sciatica and disc center, and holistic approach to physical training from progressive health and fitness, the ancient art and science of acupuncture with Hidden Well Acupuncture Center, and an overview of Chatham Orthopedic Associates. Health and Wellness in the Coastal South will be right back with Coastal Empire Plastic Surgery. Coastal Pet Rescue receives funding for its rescue efforts through fundraising events, individual donations, and business sponsorships. Every little bit makes a difference, so take a moment to learn the ways you can support us as we continue our mission of changing lives one pet at a time. You can learn so much about Coastal Pet Rescue at CoastalPetRescue.org. Please give generously. One of the many misconceptions people have when they hear the term plastic surgery is that it is purely cosmetic and has more to do with vanity than it does with health. Once you watch this first segment on Coastal Empire Plastic Surgery, we're pretty sure that perception will change. This is the first installment we've done for this group, and we hope you learn what you need through the voice of one of their fine doctors, Megan McGovern, MD. When I was a kid, my grandmother was the age my mother is. They dressed differently, they acted differently, they acted like older people. And now we live longer, we work longer, we act, we feel younger. And a lot of people come in and say, I feel like I feel, I feel I need great, I want to look great. When I was two and a half, I was at my grandmother's pool and I would jump in and turn around real quick because I couldn't touch the bottom. And I jumped a little too close and I split my chin open. And it was my first trip to the emergency room. And um, I could see what the plastic surgeon was doing in his glasses when he was fixing me. And I thought it was pretty amazing that you could put people back together when they did really silly things to themselves. Um, and that's when I decided to become a plastic surgeon. At our office, we provide a range of services. We do cosmetic surgery and cosmetic non-surgical intervention, but we also care for um, non-cosmetic uh, problems, skin cancers and lesions, um, uh, breast reductions. Um, we want to take care of the whole patient. The most important thing is to make sure that from the beginning that you and the patient have good communication, that you understand what they want and that you feel like you're going to be able to provide for them something that's going to make them happy and make them look better and feel better about themselves. We take care of a lot of different things. Um, a lot of people have the misconception that plastic surgery is all cosmetic work, um, but we take care of um, patients like me when I was a kid when I when I tore my chin apart um, and you know so accidents and facial fractures and reconstructive needs um, and we also take care of uh, cosmetic needs as well so it's, it's very satisfying as a, as a plastic surgeon to be able to do that some days it's all cosmetic surgery some days it's all um, skin cancer reconstruction it keeps your skills sharp it's very satisfying to, to have someone come in and they have a problem and they leave better they leave whole they come in with a defect from cancer and they don't have that defect anymore they've been reconstructed and it's very satisfying to be able to, to provide that for somebody they made me feel very comfortable because i was very leery of going in the first place but when i got in there the staff was wonderful they were on time and dr mcgovern couldn't have been nicer she put me back together. I, I had a hole in my cheek so deep, and there was nobody really willing to, to do anything about it. And I went to her, and she looked at it. She goes, you know, I really think we can do something about that. And she did. What I try to do when patients come in is instead of, a lot of patients come in thinking they want X, um, but what they're really trying to do is accomplish what I try to get at with a patient is what's bothering you when you look in the mirror? What's, 
what's making you feel uncomfortable with with whatever whether it's your face or your breasts or your tummy or you know what's bothering you when you look in the mirror and so if you when we back up and really talk about what is at the root of, of what's bringing them in um, there's sometimes it's exactly what they ask for when they walk through the door and sometimes they need to be given information and options uh, for what's really going to give them what they're looking for. Sciatica and Disc Center is up next on health and wellness in the Coastal South. Don't go away.